What is up, Unisport family? We are here with the one and only Liam Delap. How are you? Good, Good to have you. There's now a chance for City to open the score in which they've taken, and it is that man, Delap. You are a very, very young professional football player. Can you please just explain how the life is? Oh, you know, obviously, as a, as a young boy, all I've ever wanted to do is play football and, and to be playing football with my, my friends and everyone around me. It's, it's a very good feeling. It's the, you're living the best life, right? Yeah, of course. For me, anyway. My, my thing's football and I get to play every day. So. It's beautiful. I mean, that's a dream, that's a dream that I had when I was a kid. Uh, obviously, it didn't turn out the way I wanted. But, I mean, there's a lot of people watching our YouTube channel right now who, are, who wants to be like you, who wants to be you, right? So, first thing, like, how, how did you even become a professional football player at your level? I think it's just years of just practice and, you know, probably since, well, from before I, I can remember, I've been kicking footballs around, you know, it's probably turns, gets a bit more serious when you're eight or nine and, and pretty much from eight or nine, I've been playing every day, training every day with different players and different coaches and from them different coaches and players you learn so much that you can add to your game so I think it's just a mix of learning and just practicing. And learning is exactly what we're going to do today because you're going to teach our audience uh, a few tips and tricks on how to score more goals and how to be an efficient striker. Perfect. All right so do you have any like specific tips on on what young players should think about to reach your level? I think the the best thing is kind of being relaxed but just kind of picking your spot in the goal and, and going for that. I think if you're relaxed, then you're not really f having any, too much pressure on yourself. So if you pick a spot and, and you trust yourself to put it there and, and, and you practice it on a regular basis, then you should trust yourself to put it in that spot. Do you have like any specifics in terms of playing style, in terms of like movement or like striking or? Yeah, I think, like you know, uh, one that's talked about a lot is when you come across from like an outside position, I think, Hitting it low across the box is, is a good is a good choice because you can get it down to the keeper and it's hard for the keeper to jump down and if he does save it he can then parry it and hopefully the another striker is there to pick it up. Would you go a near corner or far corner? Far corner, yeah. Far corner. I think it's it's more chance of getting it low and, and scoring and then if you don't score and the keeper saves it then he's he's got a big chance of parrying it to one of your teammates. To... Yeah, exactly, like a like a rebound yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good good thing, but maybe don't um, reveal too many tricks because you know you never know who's watching and yeah. <laughs> there might be an opponent there watching. Um, so what about when it comes to like touch technique? Is there anything Anything there that you want to share with the audience? I think you just have to be aware of your surroundings. You know, you see the, the best players and they're constantly scanning for the opposition and just to keep your first touch away from the opposition and kind of put some disguise on your touch as well. It, it really falls and tricks the defenders. So when you say be aware of your surroundings, do you think like before the ball comes in, you, you have a little yeah, quick const scout? Constantly checking, you know, just to see how close the defender is. Because if he's too tight, maybe you can roll him. If he's a bit far off, you can afford to take a touch and then get out. And I mean, as a striker, you, you need to have that vision. Um, but I mean, when it comes to like, defending do you do that a lot like do you feel like that is an important thing when it comes to yeah, your course. playing style you know i think as a team everyone defends and the striker kind of sets it off so obviously we work a lot on 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 the press and it comes from the striker and he initiates the first press so it is kind of very important to know which way is and, and what i suppose the manager wants you to do mm. all right so if you're coming in from the side from the flank like how would you would you rather cross it would you you know go in or would you shoot straight from outside the box yeah i think you know it, it depends on how kind of inside the pitch you are. i think if you're 1v1 with a defender in around the 18 yard box you can kind of get 1v1 against them and kind of if you're like me i'm right footed and if i'm coming down the left i think kind of wait for wait for the defender to, to kind of jump in and then move it and then gives me that little yard to then shoot and I'd probably go for the far post because it's most difficult for the keeper. For example, if you, I'm a defender, right? So what skill move would you usually do against me, you know, if you're cutting in, for example? Maybe just a simple, like, shoulder drop. You, you yeah. fake to go one way and then come in one way and it just frees you up that extra yard yeah. to then create space for a shot. Do you feel that that get ever played out? You know, the same move or yeah. is it like, would, do you think that defenders would fall for that until the end of time? No, obviously I think 
everyone analyzes the, the players they play against before the game, but if you then mix it up and maybe do two inside and one outside, yeah. then it, it can confuse the defender, so then he won't know which way you're going. So it's just a classic shoulder drop, cut in, yeah. far corner. Yeah. And then if the goalkeeper takes it, then I'm there. Yeah, you're there. All right, cool. So there's that's a lot of tips for you guys to digest. It takes a lot of time, so you can save this video and re-watch it whenever you need that Striker Masterclass. It's been a pleasure having you. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Peace.